Let's look at how we can improve team collaboration and optimize your localization workflow. We'll do this by linking Gridly, the spreadsheet for multi-language content, and translation management tool, MemoQ. Connecting Gridly with MemoQ is exceptionally simple. We just navigate over here to Add-ons, select MemoQ, and then click on Install. Once installed, we follow the settings over here. You can choose whether or not it's cloud or server over here. We'll stick with cloud. And then firstly, you need to open the MemoQ application and log into the server, and there's a guide to be found here. So what we'll do now is switch over to MemoQ. Click over here and we click on Server Administrator. And then we want to click here to connect to the server. Once connected, we go to Web Service Interface here, and then we have to add this base address value to Gridly. So I'll switch back over. And we enter that base address value here. Then we have to add this IP address here to limit connection to a list of IP addresses in MemoQ. I'll switch back over. And we add that value here. And then we have to enable API key here and then add this value to Gridly. I'll switch back over again. And that is entered here. And we connect. Great, all connected. Close this. And then we'll go into one of the actual grids. The add on pushes content from the active view of the grid and creates a job in MemoQ. To be able to do so, the view must contain a source language and any target languages, and also dependencies need to be set between them, as you can see here. As content in Gridly can be continuously created and updated, you can use filters to only push content to MemoQ that needs to be updated. Using filters here, you can see here that I have this Boolean set to true on the review needed column, which gives me this view here of these 10 strings. You can see here that we have our English and then we have French and Italian. I'm actually just going to send the Spanish for this. So we go over here to the MemoQ logo, click, and then push to MemoQ. This push will create a new project for your Gridly content from scratch or create a project from a template. So I can select here, create a new one here from scratch, or indeed choose a template here. So you can use predetermined settings when creating that project. I'll just create a new one from scratch like this, select my English source language. Of course, you could have multiple source languages if you are pivoting, and then select our target language. I'm just going to select the Spanish. And then we can select other columns as well and also choose whether or not to push up to date records as well. And then here we have our context key. So we'll send the record ID, but you can also add any comments maximum length as well. So I'll leave those as they are now. Click push and then off it goes to memo queue. So we'll switch over. OK, so now we're in memo queue. We can see the project here and then we can select translations up here and then we can see our job. I'll add a translator to this self assign. And then I can click on this and then add my translations. And now I can click on deliver. Now, once this deliver button is hit, that will deliver the job back into Gridly. That's the trigger that will send those translations back. So if I select that now and click on OK and then switch back to Gridly. After a short period of time, those translations will now appear in Gridly. And here they are. And that's how you can connect MemoQ with Gridly.